Down from the mighty Rhone Glacier, in the heartland of the Swiss Alps, tumble the icy waters of the infant Rhone. Taking a westward course, nourished by numerous creeks from north and south, the young river soon broadens and gains in strength as it travels the length of the valet. On steep mountain slopes, in narrow valleys, old villages huddle about their churches, their dwellings close to one another, their citizens clinging to time-honored traditions that govern the performance of communal tasks from season to season, from year to year. vineyards, left hard and crusty by the winter's frost, must be brought back to life. As soon as warmer weather permits the grass to grow, the village goats are herded on their daily trip to pasture. The village cows, wild from long confinement in wintry stables, battle among themselves. The strongest one will be the leader when they are taken up to alpine grazing lands where they will stay all summer. in history and rugged beauty is poor of soil save for the valley floor. Much of man's life is given to repair last winter's damage and to labor for next winter's food for himself and for his animals. Later, with the valley basking in the shimmering heat of summer, the vineyards must be watered. The sprouting vine is tied, the growing fruit is sprayed.
In other parts of Switzerland, the fields are larger, the harvest rich. Here, plots are steep and tiny. Every armful of grain is handled gently, with great care. And all, the old and young, must do their share to bring the harvest safely under roof. narrow towns, across the mountain passes, the noisy bustle of city people on vacation. In the mountains, the farmers gather summer's remaining crops. have grown shorter, chill the mountain air. Time for the cattle to return to village pasture. A festive time. The cows that gave most milk are crowned. The men divide the cheese. The women wait. They call their animals and all make the descent together. have turned. The ripened grapes hang heavy on the vine. Much work to do. Much time will pass before it will be wine. day of thanks, the blessing of the soil that gave us life, of our homes that gave us shelter, a tender thought and prayer for the departed.
Then one more common effort. For two days and nights, without surcease, while snow is tumbling, the Hamlet's baking oven is kept hot. The flour mixed. The dough is kneaded. All families take their turn and mark their loaves. While others play, the village bakes its bread. When all is done, there's time for simple pleasures. contentment at the year's decline, small talk with friends of this year's crop and next year's expectations, a bit of village gossip, a pinch of politics, and always a little bread and wine. <laughs> 